What's up everybody, Hunter here. Wanting to show you guys another little project I'm assisting on, I'm not working on it, I'm assisting on it. Um, good friend of mine, Mike, came across a big tank that he, that somebody was giving away. And it is actually a 50 gallon bow front tank. Well, we are going to be setting it up as an aquascape. And I just so happened to find him at a local pet store, something to surprise him. I bought two true Siamese algae eaters for his plants to get rid of the black hair algae. Now, this will take us a little bit to set up, but I'll walk you guys through the entire process of this setup. He's got a little bit more technical equipment that I've gifted to him. And... Yeah, we'll just go over what all he's got in this tank. And on the inside, we're going to have the lily pipe set up. Uh, this is actually stainless lily pipe with a surface skimmer. Now it appears to be a bubble heater, normal stuff. But then we come over here, we are going to be using a Fluval Aqua Sky, same as on all my setups. And he got something pretty cool. He got some fluorite. It's from Seachem for the base. And we have more stuff outside there. Actually, we'll show you guys here in a sec. They're prepping sand. We're going to do a mixture. And then he's got this here. He's got an Eheim. I believe this is a Eheim 250, 350, one of the two. Eheim Classic uh, canister filter. Actually has an inline diffuser for the CO2. His CO2 tanks underneath that tank set up over there. This is his. This was his first aquascape. Got it set up like a creek bed. We're actually going to do this one, I believe, the same way. But all those plants and fish are going to be transplanted over here. That's going to be running off this setup. We actually have him more plants there, more of my trimmings, and then the fish actually in there. So let's go take a look at the rest of the stuff that will be going into this tank. So the rest of the things that are going into this tank, I believe, what you got here, Mike? Some play sand. Some Play-Doh. Got Play-Doh, some play sand. Now, what are you gonna use this for? Is this gonna be the cap, the bit, part of the base? This is gonna be part of the base. And then you have, what do you have here? Ooh. Some pea gravel. Some pea gravel, and then we have some of the stones, like the exact stones actually, that were that are in my bullfrog paludarium. Try to show it in the light. But right now we're just washing it out, trying to get everything to settle, and then we're gonna do the same with this one, I believe, right? Yep. Okay. So then that once that's done, we'll get everything laid out how we want it to, get an idea of what he wants to do. And then we'll get it set up. All right, guys. So we put the Seachem Fluorite in. We're going with a ramp up kind of design. You can kind of see how it, it angles up. And then we'll put the sand towards the bottom. And then we'll add the hardscape, essentially. Here's the start with the Seachem. Seachem. <laughs> All right, everybody, so this is the final step, kind of skipped around a little bit. We started off in the back with the Seachem Fluorite, worked that down from the slope, then added this stuff we got on Amazon called Active Flora. It's an active gravel, it comes in a, it's a water, water soaked gravel, so it comes with water still in the back, active water. And then we took, um, what is that, what do you call that? Play sand. No, the, uh, the pea, pea gravel. gravel. We took like just regular pea gravel. Made like a little area for it, such as that. And then took just some play sand and made the base in the back corner. Down for a walkway with some more pea, pea gravel. And then we use this, I don't even know what the stone's called. Uh, but just a- uh, stone. <laughs> yeah, just a regular stone, like a little wall. And his plan, I'm gonna film you. What is your plan for the backside here? Putting a bonsai tree with some kind of moss, just so it looks more alive and growing. But yeah, 
and it'll cover most of the equipment too so you won't see a lot of the equipment in the back but still keep it useful since the tree's only going to come up from what you're saying to about right there and then it'll cover both of those and the equipment like i said the equipment will still easily be able to work and it'll circulate but yeah i'll update These more on this whenever we put the water in it get the water into the tank Got everything all laid out real nice Things working like it should. The lily pipes are and the surface skimmer kicking butt. So yeah guys. There it is. Almost finished product. Hopefully adding plants and whatnot tomorrow. Alright everybody. So we're kind of close to the finished product. I walked over the process of what all we did, what all we put in here, and this is how it came together. We took another piece of this rock here, the exact same rock, and broke it apart and added some little accents to it and added a little border for the bonsai tree whenever he gets the bonsai tree in the tank. We added the fish, he's got, he's got an angel fish, some, I forgot what these were called, and then some tetros. Um, I brought him those true Siamese algae eaters there in there, and then he's got some loaches in there. Nothing too crazy, but stuff to keep the tank clean and then keep it looking alive. Uh, we planted some of these in here. Forgot the name on these already as well. And then he put some swords in there, and then back here we have some bicopa minari. Those along with these, I'll get the name for these and I'll put them in a, another video or put them down in the comments once I find out, find my paper for them. Um, they both grow really, really fast, really well. They're stem plants. Um, you can snip them and replant them into the same tank and they'll take off yet again. Also, I forgot we do have some of this, which is Japanese clover. This actually came from my tank and it's just taken off it took off in his old tank and it's going to take off in this one it's going to look really well um but his plan like we said in the other video we're going to do a bonsai tree in the background he's going to put moss on it to make it look realistic um we got the walkway i don't know what the name is on this tank yet what he's going to name it but he winded up adding a little bit more thing more equipment to it uh co2 checker we got a new a new heater and then he added a second Fluval Aqua Sky to it just to light up the entire tank. But nothing too crazy, not too much light. He's running it on the same light setting that the other tank was ran on. But yeah, we are complete for now. And we're gonna wait a little bit, let everything get settled, and then he'll go ahead and start building the bonsai. So yeah, we'll do a bond. We'll do the update whenever, whenever the bonsai comes in. I'll come back here and we'll do another little update for you guys.